Hello my friend, welcome to this lesson where we will talk more about area of a trapezium. What is a trapezium? Something like that. So even before you get the area of a trapezium, you need to identify some of the properties of a trapezium, which are one, a trapezium is a quadrilateral, meaning it has four sides. It is a four-sided thing. The other property is a trapezium has only one pair of parallel lines. Only two lines are parallel. This one is just, it looks like hypotenuse. This one is perpendicular. So this one and this one, they are not parallel. So what is the formula which you're supposed to use when you are getting the area of a trapezium? The formula is half times height. And remember our height is not this one. It is perpendicular height. The line which is joining the two parallel lines at 90 degrees. You can see this one is joining this parallel line and the other one at 90 degrees. This one cannot be 90 degrees, so this cannot be our height. Then times A plus B. This is sum of the parallel lines. A representing this parallel line and B representing the other parallel line. Let us use examples. Example one, find the area of the finger below. So if they tell you the finger below, it is your responsibility to find out whether the finger is a trapezium or a parallelogram. And then remember those two uh, quadrilaterals, they have different formulas for getting area. So this one is a trapezium. Why? It only has one pair of parallel lines. This line and this one, they are not parallel, so we only have one pair. So what is the formula? Area of a trapezium is equals to R times height times the sum of the parallel lines. The sum, you must add both of them before you start simplifying. So you say we have a half times, we are not using 15, this is plan height. We want to use the height which is joining the two parallel lines at 90 degrees. In other words, we use the perpendicular height, which is 10 times, which are the parallel lines. The pair of parallel lines is 6 plus, remember it is inside the bracket, plus 16. Remove the brackets first. So it is 6 plus uh, 16, you get 22 times 10 times half. By 2, 1. By 2, 11. Remember these ones are over 1. So we have 10 times 11, you get 110 over 1. So the answer becomes 110 centimeters squared. Centimeters squared. Example number two. Calculate the area of the trapezium below. This one you've been told it is a trapezium. So you just Say the area of a trapezium is R times height times the sum of the two parallel lines, which is A plus B. So R times what is the height? The height is the line joining the two parallel lines at 90 degrees, which is 12 times. This line and this one, they are parallel, so one of them will be A, the other will be B. So you add 20 plus 16. So you add half times 12 times 
20 plus 16, you get 36. By 2, 1. By 2, you have 6. So we have 36 times 6. 36 times 6. 6 times 6, you have 36. 6 carry 3. 6 times 3, you have 18 plus 3, you have 21. The answer becomes 216. Remember the here, yes? Centimeters square. That is the area of that surface. Yeah? Let us go to example number three. What is the area of the finger below? You are the one who is going to identify the finger. These two lines are parallel. Remember, the question is talking about what is the area of the finger below in hairs? That is a keyword. So, what is the formula? Area is equal to R times height times the sum of the parallel lines, which is A and then B. Let us substitute. We have R times what is the height? The height is the line joining the two parallel lines at 90 degrees. So, times 100 meters times A plus B, 250 plus 150, 250 plus 150. Do not simplify until you remove the brackets. So we have R times 100 meters, remember the units, times 250 plus 150, uh, we have 0, 0 by 1, you have 4. So you multiply by 4 and millimeters. This is over 1, this one is over 1. By 2, 1. By 2, 200. So you have 100 times 200, you will get 20,000. Because you have 4 zeros. These are meters squared. Remember the question is talking about in hertz. So we have 1 is equivalent to 20,000 you have to convert this one so you are converting the first thing is you start by comparing one hertz is equivalent to 100 meters square what about 20,000 meters square what about 20,000 meters square Meters squared will come with meters squared, then you cross multiply. The number cross multiplied to nothing there will be our denominator, which is 100. We have 1 times 20,000, you have 20,000. By 0, by 0, by 0, by 0. So you get 200 hertz. So that is the answer. In hertz. The last example we have what about the area of the finger below? Area of the finger below. You can see these two lines are parallel, but remember to identify the finger first. This one is not a trapezium. Remember the properties of a trapezium. One, it must be four sided finger. This one is. One, two, three, four, five. This is a five-sided thing, so it cannot be a trapezium. What you can do is you divide this finger into two. We have trapezium A, then we have trapezium B. This is one trapezium, then we have another trapezium. You get the area of each trapezium, then you add, you get the area of the whole thing. Let us start with the area of trapezium A which is half, the formula is half times a height times a plus b. So we have half times height. Now you find these lines are parallel. So which line is joining the two parallel lines at 90 degrees? You see this one or this one? This cannot be 90 degrees. So this line, this one, is joining the two parallel lines at 90 degrees. So that becomes our height. So our height is 10 
times a plus b. This is 15, one of the parallel lines, plus 9. So 15 plus 9, you get 24 times 10 times half. So by 2 long, by 2 12, 12 times 10, you get 120 meters squared. That is the area of this side. You get the area of the other side, which is B. R times the height of this side now. This is a trapezium. These two lines are parallel. This one and this one, they are parallel. And this line is joining the two parallel lines at 90 degrees. So the height is 10 times the two parallel lines, one of them is 9 and the other one is 15. 9 and a 15. So the whole of times 10 times 9 plus 15, you get 24 by 2, 1 by 2, 12. 12 times 10, you get 120 meters square. The area of this trapezium is 120, the other trapezium is 120. So what is the finger of the wood? What is the area of the wood finger? We have two trapezia, that is we have trapezia, two trapezia. Remember one of them is trapezium, when they are two they are called trapezia. So we have two trapezia. So the total area will be 120 plus 120, you have zero, plus zero you have zero. 2 plus 2, you have 4. 1 plus 1, you have 2. The area of the whole finger becomes 240 meters square. So, a simple as taking chord for it. Very simple. Very interesting. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye-bye.